madam. So today I would like to share about uh, the mechanism of enzyme action. First of all is enzyme. As you know that enzyme is a complex protein that are made up of polypeptide chains that are folded into three-dimensional structure. This three-dimensional structure has a an active site that can complement a specific substrate we move into substrate this substrate is a reactant that is catalyzed by the specific enzyme then we'll be into a molecule called a substrate enzyme at the active site ending of substrate molecule in active site of enzyme is specific like lock and key Combination. So based on the lock and key combination, this specific key which is represented as substrate can fit into this lock which is a specific enzyme. I will use this, this plastic card to present it. Um, this lock and key mechanism, um, first thing first, only specific substrate will approach the enzyme. So this enzyme we use to so when specific substrate fit with this specific enzyme, um, the substrate will be at the active site of the enzyme. So by using this, um, this T is a uh, active site enzyme and T is the substrate. So the, the substrate will be at the active site. The binding of the substrate at the active site of the enzyme will form a enzyme substrate complex. So this is the enzyme substrate complex which is enzyme complex to form product. Product leaves the active site after the reaction complete. So when um, the substrate that is binding in, uh, into the active site of the enzyme completely be the enzyme substrate complex the product will leave the active site after the reaction complete so after all the the product will leave so this is the product which is the substrate will leave the active site after the reaction complete so the enzyme will be used again for the other substrate and it will not ever change its shape i think that's all from me uh, sorry if i don't do really good uh, presentation i try my best so that's all from me thank you assalamualaikum today i will be representing about the lock and key hypothesis so the module that i will be using the module is made up of cardboard and the lock and key First of all, as you all know, enzyme is an organic catalyst that is made up of protein and it is produced in the living cell organism. The enzyme is very important as it speeds up biochemical reactions. The substance needed for the enzyme reaction to occur is substrate. Specific substrate will bind with the specific site of the enzyme which is known as the active site. The binding process is known as the lock and key hypothesis because it is very similar to us opening the lock using the key. Okay, um, as you all know, enzyme is made up of complex protein which is made up of polypeptide chains that is folded into three-dimensional structure. Like I said earlier, substrate will bind with the specific site of the enzyme which is known as the active site. The active site have the same shape as the substrate. Okay, first of all, the substrate we will imagine the enzyme as the lock and the substrate as the key. First of all, the substrate will approach the enzyme. Then it will bind with the active 
active will bind with the active side then when it binds it will produce enzyme substrate complex the reaction will occur after the reaction occur a product will form then after the after the reaction is complete the product will leave the active site it is very, very similar very similar to the lock and key first of all the key will approach the lock after it try opening the lock and the lock will open you can imagine the lock as the product when the lock is open it is known as the product so we will separate the key the product will leave the active site just like the key we separate the key so i think that is all from me thank you hello today i'm going to share about chemical composition in a cell that is nucleic acid so this is the example of double nuclear double helix structure for this model i only use Statistic that is colored by marker and cellotape. So I'm gonna start with the explanation. As we know, nucleic acid are one or two polymer chains that comprising of nucleotide monomers. It is formed from five elements that are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. It has two types, that is deoxyribonucleic acid DNA and ribonucleic acid RNA. Monomers of nucleic nucleic acid are known as nucleotide. Each nucleotide consists of pentose sugar, phosphate group, and nitrogen aspects. They are combined through conversation process. So today I'm gonna focus on DNA. DNA consists of two polynucleotide chains that are into one opposite direction. So this is polynucleotide chain. That is the one in opposite direction to form double helix. The nitrogen space on both polynucleotide, this is polynucleotide, are matched and bound together by nitrogen bonds. The nitrogen space in DNA are adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. Okay, adenine only binds with thymine, while guanine only binds with cytosine. The green color represent adenine the red color represent thymine the brown color represent guanine while the yellow color represent cytosine you can see the red the red and green that is adenine and thymine bond together bind together Assalamu alaikum and a very good day everyone So my topic for today is mechanism of enzyme which is lock and key hypothesis So this is my material for this video as you can see I have a lock which will represent an enzyme uh, second is a different type of key which will represent a different substrate 
firstly, I will explain about mechanism of enzyme that is related to the lock and key hypothesis. So, firstly, every enzyme has an active site. Second, substrate is a reactant that is catalyzed by a specific enzyme only. Third, enzyme will bind with a substrate at the active site, active site of an enzyme. However, substrate can only be fit with a specific enzyme only. The binding of substrate molecule on the active site of an enzyme is specific just like the lock, the lock and key combination. Okay, here we go. So, this is my lock and this is a different type of key. I will try this key first. Okay. Yeah, it opened. But how about the other key? Unfortunately, it cannot. So the video just now show what happened if a different key try to unlock. A different lock as I said now the lock is represented as an enzyme and the key will represent a different type of substrate so we can say that substrate can only bind with a specific enzyme only So I think that's all for me, I'm really sorry if my video has a lag on it, but I will improve next time. Goodbye!